Good morning. Welcome back to Bible and Blues. This is Cameron, your host. And uh, it is another beautiful, it is Wednesday. It's another beautiful day. Uh, I had to park in front at work. The back was, I mean, it was completely full of parking when I got here. Um, usually there's at least one spot, but, you know, not today. So I, I have my window rolled up. And we got this extra sun right here. So, um, no, sorry about that. But that's just kind of what has to happen sometimes. Um, I had to have my window rolled up because it's a busy road going back and forth. Just kind of cutting down on the background noise for you. Uh, so this morning, um, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm a little bit on the attack of, of atheists, you know that. Uh, mostly, uh, you know, here's something. I, I, I want to bring it up because I, I gave my daughter-in-law a ride into work you know, yesterday. And uh, I was kind of talking briefly about it. She's agnostic. Uh, and she, she brought up the concept that um, a lot of the atheism that you see uh, on YouTube and uh, out there as a general rule these days is trendy atheism. They're doing it because it's trendy. It's a trend. Okay. And, you know, like fidget spinners. Okay. And, um, and partially because, I mean, you know, these kids were not, you know, kids were not raised, uh, you know, with any theism in their lives uh, frequently. Uh, you know, and allowed to do whatever the heck they wanted. And, uh, you know, I don't want to jump on millennials because let's face it, millennials, they, ha they have had us to a certain extent, a big mess produced by uh, my generation, the generation before uh, creation uh, of, uh, of issues. And there's things we can jump on them about, but um, so the, uh, anyway, so there's just the concept that they were not raised with uh, a, a great deal of religion in their, in, you know, in their lives. So I guess they can't really be blamed for jumping on the trendy atheism thing because they haven't learned anything. So, and that's kind of what I'm, what, what I'm battling. I'm kind of, it's, it's kind of a, you know, this whole concept of what you're, what you're spouting and your arguments are, is, you know, is, is junk. You realize that this is as good as the junk bonds of the, uh, of the eighties and nineties, uh, you know, kind of useless, empty thing. And uh, so one of the channels that I found um, is called Deflating Atheism. Now, is he a great channel? No, he doesn't claim to be. Essentially, he's an edgelord for the Christians. Okay, he goes around and he, and he, and he, he, he responds to videos. He does video, you know, he does response videos to atheists and he, he jumps on their stuff, just like, you know, we've seen the atheists doing the same, same kind of things all the time. So, big truck right beside me just started up. You'll see it pull away shortly. Um, hopefully, when he turns, he doesn't swipe my vehicle. Um, and there he goes. Let's kind of watch him just a bit. And... Nope, he's not going to hit my vehicle. I like that. Anyway... <laughs> Oh, good. He's got, he's he's got a brain. I did kind of sidle up next to him a bit, but it's got, my vehicle's going to be here all day long, and I got to be mostly out of the way. So I'll have to find out who that was and give him a thanks for paying attention to his uh, to, to his right side. So, and he's got plenty of room to turn. So anyway, <laughs> that little bit of drama was brought to you by parking in the industrial area. Looks like he's got it. So uh, anyway, and he's off and running. So uh, you know these things, uh, but but he's part of a group. Of, it turns out I just found out this out this morning, uh, and the leader of this group is a guy who is escaping atheism. Apparently, he used to be an atheist, and he's converted to Catholicism. Uh, for, and um, so. I'm still deciding about that this group, and and the reason I'm kind of deciding is this guy from the you know, the escaping atheism guy seems to be the leader, and he seems just a little bit heavy-handed, just a little bit. Could be his personality type, could be the fact that I am heavy-handed, so I don't appreciate anybody else being heavy-handed. It could be that. I don't know. Uh, so, um, so check out you know, escaping atheism. Give me your opinion, uh, and def and deflating atheism. Uh, uh, both channels, uh, they do collaborations all the time. Uh, there was, uh, there was one I was watching this morning, uh, that was really new. It was, uh, Escaping Atheism, Deflating Atheism, 
and a woman named Catherine Alexander, who apparently turns out she's a geologist, she has a degree in ge geology. So, um, I, you know, I don't have a degree. <laughs> I have a degree of hard knocks. Um, so I try to listen to people, and, uh, you know, like I say, it's, it's, it's a challenge for me sometimes. Um, but uh, that's kind of this morning's talk. Uh, the commentary is, isn't really all that hardcore today. I'm uh, in the process of watching a video of a debate between a professor, a uh, doctor of, phil uh, of philosophical do of philosophy, uh, who's a Christian, versus uh, a, uh, phys a physicist uh, who specializes in, in, in the Big Bang concepts, um, who's an atheist. And I just started that video, so and it's a two-hour it's a two-hour video, so I couldn't get it in this morning, but. Uh, maybe I'll have to get something out of that. I don't know. I don't watch a lot of those videos and I should watch more of them um, Just to see how these things go because I again as, as I frequently say when you come to uh, when it comes to uh, uh, Talking to atheists and the questions they ask You get the same basic questions all the time and Learning how to respond to those things, you know, it takes knowledge and you, you get your knowledge from other people so Keep looking around because other people pulling in and out. So, uh, without further ado, we're doing Psalm 138. Uh, so be sure to like and share my videos. Uh, if, this, if this is the first time you watch it, thank you so much for uh, for, for coming to my channel. Uh, be, please uh, subscribe. Uh, please, you know, hit that little bell notification so you get to, so you get uh, told when I upload new videos. If you're over on VidMe, hey, I'm up to 106 followers on VidMe. Uh, and uh, which is a bit which I celebrate that milestone when that happened and I'm looking forward to another hundred uh, just uh, you know, come on come on over and uh, and uh, follow me over there uh, I don't make money off of this um, obviously I'm at a job okay and I have about uh, five minutes left before I have to go into my job so without further ado Psalm 138 I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. Before the gods, I will sing your praise. Interesting use of words there. I will bow down toward, toward your holy temple and will praise your name for your love and your faithfulness. For you have exalted above all things your name and your word. When I called, you answered me. You made me bold and stout-hearted. May all the kings of the earth praise you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth. May they sing the ways of the Lord, for the glory of the Lord is great. The, the Lord is on high. He looks upon the lowly, but the proud he knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. You stretch out your hand against the anger of my foes. With your right hand, you save me. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not abandon the works of your hands. Here is reading the Lord. Thanks be to God. Interesting. Uh, before the gods, I will sing your praise. And who is he referring to? Anybody want to help me out with that? Anybody with more knowledge? I will. This is of David here. Uh, and now is this the gods? You know the gods that, that, that populated the land around King David uh, before them. Hey, you know my gods. God is better than your little puny god. Okay. Um, and that and is that what he's doing? Is he saying you know my my real god is better than your 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 fake god or your demigod or things like that? Which is a whole theological discussion about where they come from. Um, I will bow down your toward your holy temple and praise your name for the your love and faithfulness, for you have exalted above all things your name and your word. So, and when I called, you answered me. You made me bold and stout-hearted, and I've become more bold in my faith in the past year, um, and, and more willing to speak out. And say, hey, you know, call and call people out on their uh, on their stupid stuff when they say stupid things. Which again, we get back to that concept of the the same, you know, five, six, seven questions, you know, five to ten questions that, that you know they all ask. They th and they and they think they're gotcha questions. You need to learn how to answer those things, or they are gotcha questions, or they'll get you. So I'm working on learning some a lot of those myself. So. And, you know, in this, may all the kings of the earth praise you, O Lord, when they hear your, the words of your mouth. So, you know, we, we, we do know that, uh, you know, all the earth will sing the praises of God. We know that 
every knee shall bow, okay, in the end. Uh, what we never hear, well, we don't hear, and, uh, you know, I mean, uh, people who have read this in Latin, they, uh, you know, they can, they can, you know, unless you've read it, <laughs> unless you read it in Hebrew, um, you know, it's, it's kind of hard because the matter when we translate, we lose a little bit or we gain a little bit. Um, uh, it never says whether we will, they will bow down to the Lord in joy, in acceptance, or in anger. Okay. Um, you know, it's just the concept that, uh, you know, the devil believes in God, you know, <laughs> believing doesn't always do the, do the whole thing. So, um, Anyway, I got to get into work. You guys have a great day. I will post this up later on. Uh, have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.